We begin with a family of four facing charges in a cruelty case involving animals. The felony case centers on what happened inside a home in North Knox County. At last check, Michelle Burgess Morris was the only one arrested. You see the others on your screen. Punishment on those charges includes prison time and fines, but legal experts we spoke to say often in cases like this, the result is probation and a future ban on owning animals. 10 News reporter Mary Klingler spoke with people who say their dogs died in the care of a pet sitter. Mary? She's gone and she's in a better place, but she still deserves justice. Maybelle, the French Bulldog, died while in this pet sitter's hands. Lisa Lynch says she thought the pet sitter would take Maybelle to a sanctuary for older dogs. Just two weeks after the exchange, we were like, yes, that's our dog, and they said it had passed away. It's just disturbing. Officials say they first became aware of the problem last summer and did several animal welfare checks after receiving multiple complaints. When the sheriff's office got permission to search the house last week, they rescued nearly 40 animals, several dogs, cats, guinea pigs, rats, reptiles, even a bird. Natalie Hartman says she thought the sitter was trustworthy and had no idea this would be her last time seeing her service dog. It was pretty obvious that she had been dead for a while. She says it wasn't until after Coda's death she heard of poor reviews. Look into whoever is watching your pets, check out the surroundings and love on your pets because you never know in the last time that you'll be able to be with them. Reporting in Knoxville, I'm Mary Klingler. According to the report, Haley Morris fostered several pets from Young Williams Animal Center and those pets suddenly died in her care. The shelter is now caring for those other animals, but unable to release pictures during this case.